The following is a production of Learfield Sports. The 123rd meeting between Wisconsin and Minnesota is now in the books. The annual battle for Paul Bunyan's axe. We'll take a look at some of the highlights from Saturday's game from Minneapolis. Our senior salute continues this week. It's Jared Abraderis, and we'll look ahead to the final regular season game against Penn State with head coach Gary Anderson. It's all coming up on the Badger Sports Report. Wing left. Three tight ends in the formation for Wisconsin. Stabby will hand it to White over the left side. He'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Wisconsin. James White from two yards away, and the Badgers regain the lead. Oh, we knew it going in. Uh, cold weather, wind. You know, you're going to have to be able to run the football. Coach Hammond calls it running back weather. You know, the team's gonna, the ball's going to be in your hands, and the, team, the team's putting the ball in your hands, so it's pretty much on your back. So we want to protect the football and go out there and run hard. Uh, Jones motions to the left. They fake the fly sweep. Hand off David Cobb, and brought down by Borland. He may have stripped the football. He did. He flat stripped it and recovers it. Badger football. Chris Borland with a forced fumble. The 14th forced fumble of his career that ties an FBS record. Now, Borland is atop that list with five others. They ran a, a power um, to the open side, the weak side. And our defensive line did a great job of stringing it out. Uh, I was unblocked and met him in the backfield. And, uh, he kind of had the ball loose, so there's an opportunity to get it out, and it all worked out. In my opinion, from what I know, you know, and I'm biased, I think he's the best linebacker in the country. And I say that from a head coach's standpoint, from leadership to community involvement, to the way he plays on Saturdays, uh, to the way he leads the youth of our program, uh, the young man's unbelievable. He's he's the you know he's uh, he's on the he's on the poster for a reason. Just let me say that. But he is, I think, he's the best linebacker that that I've been around, and um, he's an unbelievable young man. And I think he's going to play this game for a long, long time. Picked off Portland with room, 40. Touchdown, James White. The Badgers are headed to the Rose Bowl for the third straight year. Steve down the middle. Hamburg has got it. 15. Slanting right, 10, 5. Touchdown, Wisconsin. The Badger Sports Report with Gary Anderson is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Hyundai. By Adidas. By Toyota. And by UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Truth is, there are surgical procedures and medical treatments that only a handful of doctors can perform. Illness is so complex that only the preeminent hospitals in the world will take them on. These are those doctors, and this is their hospital. They are the world-renowned physicians, researchers, and healthcare professionals inside UW Health and the University of Wisconsin. UW Health. Remarkable. I'm not what the girls here would call classically good looking. I spent most of my youth in the dreaded friend zone. That all changed when my folks got Charter TV. I discovered tons of chick flicks in HD and on demand and learned all the secrets to romancing the high school girl. Now in a school full of boys, I'm the man. I'm the man. Get Charter TV starting at $29.99 per month. Charter, make way for more. Whether you're out there training for a big event or you're just trying to stay in shape, I have a bit of advice. It's important to remember that what happens after the workout is just as important as what happens during the workout. My advice, be sure to refuel with low-fat chocolate milk. It has the perfect mixture of protein, carbs, and electrolytes to help you refuel, rehydrate, and build muscle. In Wisconsin, athletes win with low-fat chocolate milk. And you can too. To learn more, visit winwithchocolatemilk.com. Some schools use a sign to identify themselves. The chop, the fork, the O, hook them horns. But there is one sign every team wants to be identified with. Fans show their loyalty in all kinds of ways. Ours, just buy another Hyundai. 
See what loyalty looks like at the loyalty report on the post game. Aberdera starts in motion to the right. Here's the handoff to James White. Trying the left side. Gets hit at the line of scrimmage. Breaks through to the 40. White breaks the tackle. 45. He's to the 50. Angles right. White the 40. To the 30. Down the sideline. 20. Taps the brakes. Cuts inside. And is brought down inside the 15. Down to the 11 yard. To the 12 of Minnesota. Antonio Johnson. James Manuel there for the Gophers. As James White, who had a big one to start last week, gets a big one to start it this week. Snap back to Nelson. Back to throw under some pressure. Got away from Borland. Ball's knocked loose. Scooped up by Borland at the 45 and brought down near midfield. Another turnover as the Badgers knock it loose. Borland pounces and the Badgers are in business at the Minnesota 49-yard line as Brendan Kelly forced it and Borland recovered. James White, the lone running back. Pedersen wing left, motions to the right. Stabby, play fake, looking, sets, throws, right side, end zone, caught, Abradaris, touchdown, Wisconsin. Stabby to Abradaris, three-yard connection, 19-7, to Wisconsin. And for the 10th straight year, the Wisconsin Badgers in possession of Paul Bunyan's axe. It's over in Minneapolis. The longest winning streak in this series now belongs to Wisconsin, 10 straight over Minnesota. As this series, which has been dominated by Wisconsin, the trophy stays in Wisconsin. It was a great victory for us. We're happy to uh, get out of here and uh, get the victory and, and move on to Penn State next week. But uh, tough-minded group, defense played extremely well. Um, they did a nice job getting out of drives, being physical, uh, taking care of their business. It's proud of them. You know, they, they want to be a great football team. And when you're at nine wins, you're real, real close to being a great football team. And they had set some goals and some want tos to be um, what they wanted to be this year. And, you know, one of them was to play well in the Big Ten and, uh, you know, get, get more wins in the Big Ten. And they've been able to do that now. So we got one loss, we got one game left. Uh, they're nine and two. And they're, they're, they're playing for a ton. They're going to get themselves to a nice bowl game. We got another great challenge next week, obviously with Penn State. But you know, these kids are, uh, understand exactly where they sit. I never ever felt like, oh, well, we're never going to get back to the Rose Bowl this year. We're not going to get to the championship game, and woe is me. Not, not one bit of it. They wanted to better their performance every single week and and work to play hard every single week and play with each other. And now they're nine and two. So right now they're a very very good team and verging on being a great team and. I'm not so sure they're not a great team right now. Uh, if the season was over, I'd probably say they're a great team, but I just don't want to tell them that yet. So. <laughs>and uh, I saw him like kind of have the ball out there I was like I'm just gonna go as hard as I can for this ball you know I didn't even think about the sack I was like just go for the ball uh, so I mean that was just you know another way I can help the team obviously defense played well today uh, you know offense did a great job holding on to the ball there in the second half uh, made it easy for the defense get out there a couple times and do our job but uh, yeah overall it was a great win yeah, I think we're a great squad um, I talk about this I feel like all the time but just the experience that we have and kind of the maturity level and just guys that know their role and and really, you know, just kind of sacrifice themselves for the team and that kind of thing. So I think that's one thing that stands out to me is just experience and maturity that we have, and I think that's really helped us win a lot of games. If they don't score touchdowns, it's, they're probably not going to win. So it's, it's vitally important, and uh, there's a varied amount of reasons why we've been accomplishing it, but um, I think all in all, it's our preparation. Coach Randa does a great job, and um, our leaders and uh, experienced players get everybody ready and, uh, I don't think I've felt this prepared on game day defensively uh, my entire career I know a lot of guys share that sentiment you know I thought we did a really good job responding the defense did a really good job kind of bailing us out um, when we put them in tough situations so um, I think it was a really good team win they had pretty much everybody in the box so it's, it's pretty tough to run on that but uh, we've missed some of our opportunities and uh, we had to take advantage of those, those opportunities some of those opportunities that we missed you know those are tough offensive football conditions so you know we want to take what they're giving us uh, just let the game come to us and you know basically my job is just run the plays that are called execute the plays that are called so um, you know coach Ludwig understood the tougher conditions and was kind of calling it based around that no oh, it means a lot to me uh, it's 10 years that we've had that thing so it's going to be great to have in our trophy, you know, trophy room for another year and looking at it every day when you go into the stadium. So 
It's awesome. You know, I think we're getting there. You know what I mean? I'm never going to say, you know, I never think, I always think we're, uh, we have room for improvement, and we still do. We have a lot of room for improvement. But, uh, you know, I think we've got a lot of guys that are playing together, and I think that's the most important thing. Local Subway restaurants are inviting students and families to take Coach Gary Anderson's health challenge. Stop by your local Subway and pick up official Coach Anderson tracking cards to help your family track healthy eating habits and physical activities. Subway, eat fresh. Minnesota game behind him. Now the Badgers get ready for the regular season finale and, and the home finale as Penn State comes to town. Uh, Coach, you've talked about it all year only. X number of opportunities, X number of opportunities. Now it's one. Yeah. And if it didn't sink in before with players, this coming week it will, won't it? Yeah, it will. You know, there's uh, three hours left in Camp Randall, and that they're, they're gonna they're gonna value that last practice time, and yeah, they have more practices for the bowl game or what have you, but not not to play in Camp Randall. And this is a very powerful senior class. Uh, all the kids will give a little bit extra for them this week, without question. I talk to players about this every year, and when they're freshmen, sophomores, even early in their junior year, they senior day they're not giving that any thought and then as it approaches it, it can hit them like a ton of bricks each player is a little bit different but generally speaking it seems like boom it hits yeah, them yeah. you went through it was it a similar experience for you it was you know for me um and it, it, it is it's tough you know you look back and all of a sudden you're going to go play a football game and you better think about it before you get out there it's hard for me as a coach to walk out there and deal with it's emotional for me when I watch those kids and I see them come out jog out of the tunnel for the last time. And uh, but we do have a bowl game, so that helps me a little bit. <laughs> it does. And another question, again, I probably ask every year, no matter you know what, whatever sport, when you have those introductions before the game, players, it's incumbent upon them to gather themselves. You're going to have the emotion of the moment, but then okay, now you got to go get ready and yeah. hit hit the guy across you. You have to, yeah, and that's that's just as part of the deal. But it's great for the parents to be there, the families, obviously, to be in the middle of the thing with. Uh, coming in here for the last time and there's a lot of memories that go but you do you have to you know grab yourself and say okay here I go I got a job to do and I want to represent myself well my last time at Camp Randall. The last time this season uh, at Camp Randall you've now will have gone through an entire season as a head coach of the Badgers at Camp Randall you heard a lot about the experience you were obviously a part of it on the visiting sideline last year this year to date has it been everything that you had hoped for? Yeah yeah probably still a little bit more you know every <laughs> single week and you, you walk out there it's uh, it's unbelievable and you know it's uh, to get through the first year and the, the first cycle is uh, is crazy it's been hectic but the, the fans are unbelievable here and um, I you know can't wait for the next year but we got one more time in there this year <laughs> <Sure>. still. <laughs> you have been really consistent because you've been asked multiple times about uh, campaigning for for the Badgers so I'm not going to go there with you. The conference itself though is you're almost through a full season of the Big Ten my own opinion, I'm biased as a fan of the conference. I think it's better than advertised. And I think national folks are starting to get that, having coached through it every week. Would you agree? Yeah, there, there's no question. If you're going to sit back and start matching conferences to conferences, the Big Ten is, is right there. And you, you see it no matter how – show it to me. Show me how we didn't play good in the preseason. And do you win them all? No, I'm not saying that. We didn't win them all. But we had teams go to the, you know, across the country and win. We had teams fly across the country to come and play us, and we won. And so it's a, it's a great conference. Uh, it's the best of the best. And when you get into conference play, you know, the true identity comes out. These teams, uh, no matter if they haven't had a successful year or if they have had a successful year, the games are still competitive. And to me, that's a well-rounded conference. There's no gimmies. And at the end of it, too, I mean, there are different styles of play. You'll see the racehorse, the exactly. fast football. But... <laughs> At the end of it, it's still physical. It week after week to get through the grind says something. Yeah, it is. And you look at Indiana. Look how they run the ball. That's a physical football team. The way they want to run the ball week in and week out, that's a spread a spread offense can get. Northwestern, they're a spread offense. They're, they, they still physically run the ball. And then you get into the Iowas and the Wisconsins and the Penn States, and you know you better put on your big boy pants every week. Has the variety of the styles in this league, has that been an eye-opener to yes, you? Yes, yeah. I, I, I didn't think it would be nearly as multiple, um, just, again, from the outside looking mm -hmm. in. But but even when you look at uh, the, you know the Minnesota team, they 
even though they run the ball, now it's the fly sweep comes into it. And <laughs> it, it just goes and goes and goes in this league. And there's a, a variety of offenses. Uh, it's a little bit more settled down on the defensive side of the ball as far as consistency, but uh, still a, a great challenge every week on both sides. All right, home finale this Saturday at Camp Randall Stadium. Penn State comes to town. Kickoff here at the camp will be at 2.30 on Saturday afternoon. If you have a ticket, though, get here early. Senior introduction is always a great part of the tradition that is Wisconsin football at Camp Randall Stadium. Coach Anderson rejoins us in a few minutes with a great day and great question of the week. All that and more as the Badger Sports Report continues. I'm not what the girls here would call classically good looking. I spent most of my youth in the dreaded friend zone. That all changed when my folks got Charter TV. I discovered tons of chick flicks in HD and on demand and learned all the secrets to romancing the high school girl. Now in a school full of boys, I'm the man. I'm the man. Get Charter TV starting at $29.99 per month. Charter, make way for more. This is Andrew Zielsdorf. He plays hockey. This is leukemia. It's bad business. This is Andrew's oncology team. They love Andrew. They don't like leukemia. And thanks to them, Andrew is now cancer free. Booyah. They are the world renowned physicians, scientists, and nurses at the American Family Children's Hospital, pioneers in pediatric cancer care. UW Health. Remarkable. Welcome to Toyotathon. How can I help? I'm here to get a Camry. Oh, Camry's reliable and really fun to drive. Sounds like I hit the jackpot again. Again? Hey, honey. I got you this mochaccino. And on the way, I rescued this puppy. Right now, during Toyotathon, lease a new 2014 Camry LE for just $199 a month. Plus, get $1,000 down payment assistance when you lease a new 2014 Camry. Toyota, let's go places. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup is the officially sanctioned annual award recognizing all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. NACTA and USA Today co-founded this esteemed honor in 1993, still widely recognized as the crowning achievement in college athletics. Fake the fly sweep, Stavi back to throw, steps up, he's it deep, down the middle, Aperteris is up and got it, 10, 5, touchdown Wisconsin, Stavi to Aperteris, 63 yards, Badgers take the lead. Thinking back, you know, where I came from, where I started, um, it's crazy to think, you know, where I am now. Um, you know, I still got a long ways to go um, to be where I want to be, but, um, you know, it's, it's, been, it's been a blessing. It's been a pleasure to be on this team and, and uh, just, you know, compete with these guys. You always set goals for yourself coming in, so uh, for me, it was just, you know, trying to, you know, first get on the field. Um, and then once you did that, you know, set a new goal, so, you know, trying to be a starter, once you do that, you know, try to be the number one receiver, once you do that, try to be the best in the Big Ten and so on so um, for me it really you know it's not really surprising it's just um, every time I you know reach my goal I just you know set a new one and, and try to achieve it and you know, not only just you know being you know like a high schooler to you know maturing and uh, you know a growing up um, you know getting married um, you know just maturing I think a lot you know and just becoming into a you know a person that you know is gonna I mean do hopefully do, do some big things in, in the real world once I'm done with college and, and done with my career Takes the snap, play fake, back to throw, looking, winds up, heaves it deep, down the middle, Abradaris, got it, goodbye, 10, 5, touchdown, Wisconsin, 65 yards, Joel Stavi to Jared Abradaris. The leadership that everybody brings, um, you know, everybody kind of leads in a different way, and so you got guys, you know, receiver, running back, um, you know, line, um, on the defensive side, they're all over, like you said. Um, you know, and, and each, each guy, you know, kind of leads their position. Um, and then you kind of try to bring it together as a team. But I think uh, also the experience, you know, being, being in those close games, you know, some that we won, some that we lost, um, and, and just being able to kind of have that experience 
um, you know, never really get down. And you, I think that's just, you know, kind of shown with our team this year is we just keep fighting no matter what. Um, you know, if something's not going our way, we just keep fighting through. And, and I think that's just kind of from the leadership of the team. And, and also the coaches kind of stress that. So um, I think that's what's special about it. All the Big Ten championship games, both of them, I should say, um, have been huge, um, especially just coming, you know, after losing to them um, during the regular season and then, you know, come back and, and win. Um, that was special. But, you know, a couple games stand out would be um, the first time we played Nebraska when we welcomed, in, welcomed them into the Big Ten. Um, you know, I struggled early. I, I, I mean, I, I caught a pass and then I fumbled the punt return and just come back from that, make a big play on a touchdown. Um, that play really stands out. And then this year, you know, against Ohio State, um, you know, playing a, you know, a great corner and uh, Roby, um, you know, just those performances that, you know, kind of stick out in your mind, um, you know, that, you know, someday you'll look back on it and, and be able to, you know, enjoy. Second down, Stavia play fake, throwing long for Abradaris. Got it, 10, five, touchdown, Wisconsin. Stavi to Abradaris, 57 yards. I think um, just a little bit more sense of urgency, um, you know, watching film, um, just doing all the little extra things that maybe before um, you, you just didn't really focus on because you thought, you know, I had more time. Um, so, I mean, I, I wouldn't say it changed too much um, because before I was doing a lot, but um, I think it's just a little bit more um, of everything, you know, just trying to get to that, that next level and, and take the next step. So. Um, I think, you know, senior year, just, you just kind of feel that urgency and, and every game goes by and it's like, well, it's the last time I'll be playing them, um, last time we'll be on the field, you know, things like that. So every time, you just think every, every time it's the last, um, it's kind of crazy. I mean, the first, the first game was, you know, like one of the tough ones just because it's, you know, last first game coming out of Camp Randall, you know, after a long fall camp, after a long off season, um, you know, being, being able to play in front of the crowd. Um, but I think, you know, you know, the games between, you know, then and now have been, I mean, not as much, but I think, you know, as, as we, you know, close up the season, um, as it comes to an end, it's kind of, you know, starting to get a little bit more, you know, hard to do. Um, just thinking about you, you never be playing with these guys again, with the coaches, um, being able to get on that field in front of the fans and, and just play the game that you love. So, it, I mean, as the season goes on, it, uh, it gets a little bit harder. Freeman and Betty Reese were unmistakable Alabama football game fixtures since 1958. Home or away, they were there. And in their defense, they did caution their daughter not to plan her wedding for the third Saturday in October. But everyone in attendance said the Reeses really enjoyed the reception. Fans show their loyalty in all kinds of ways. Ours, just by another Hyundai. See what loyalty looks like at the loyalty report on the post game. I'm not what the girls here would call classically good looking. I spent most of my youth in the dreaded friend zone. That all changed when my folks got Charter TV. I discovered tons of chick flicks in HD and on demand and learned all the secrets to romancing the high school girl. Now in a school full of boys, I'm the man. I'm the man. Get Charter TV starting at $29.99 per month. Charter, make way for more. One day, cancer as we know it will cease to exist. But until then, there will be no rest, for they are the ones who push science, who seek more effective protocols and preventions, the ones who treat the most complex of cancers in search of cures. They are the world-renowned physicians, researchers, and healthcare professionals at the University of Wisconsin Carbone Cancer Center, Wisconsin's only nationally designated comprehensive cancer center. UW Health. Remarkable. Wisconsin Cheese, making good food great. The Badger Sports Report with Gary Anderson is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Hyundai. By Adidas. By Toyota. And by UW Health a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics.
Time now for the great day and great question of the week, and it comes from Chad in Beloit. Coach wants to know, who are some of the guys who have really stood out to you on the scout team, either side of the ball so far? Oh, boy, there's there, there's a lot of them, you know. But I would say consistently day in and day out, you know, Alec James and, and Cheekway have been unbelievable with their toughness and, and their ability to really, you know, duplicate what we're going to see uh, on game day. Um, Connor, I've talked about him a lot, to, to have an athletic quarterback that can get back there, take pride in his job, and do such a tremendous job week in and week out. And, you know, I keep going on and on and on. I love the young tight ends. You know, Watt and, and you know, Fumagalli are, have done a tremendous job. And, and they're real, all those kids are working hard in the offseason. So now I'm going to leave them out. Mom and dads are going to be mad at me, and the kids are going to be like, I'm not doing any good. That's not true. There's a, the, the future is very bright with that young crew. Yeah, we could do this. Uh, we could probably be make it all encompassing here as much as you focus on the now. The what's next is pretty intriguing yeah. to you guys as coaches, right? It, it is. And I'm excited about that. Uh, obviously, finishing this year and, and uh, getting these seniors, just like we talked about, head held high, chest puffed out when they walk out of here and for the last time, and that we're still in that process. But then as we flip gears into January, the goal is to you know, put the pedal to the metal now and, and do some special things in the next few years. And it all starts with the kids in the program first. Secondly is recruiting. If we do that and then we take care of the young men in the program like we preach all the time as coaches, we should be just fine. But uh, I'm excited about getting to January. Uh, but let's finish this one up the right way first. Absolutely. Sounds like a plan. Chad, thanks so much for your question. The great day with four locations in Madison, the east side of town, downtown, Hilldale, as well as Fitchburg. And the next time you're up in Wausau, check out the great day in that town as well. That'll do it for us this week. Join us next time as we recap the game against Penn State and look ahead to postseason play. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Toyotathon. How can I help? I love Toyotathon. It's the only time I ever buy a car. Smart. 35 years of amazing deals. Yep. I remember buying my first Toyota here. Yes, my first new car. I'm adorable. And right now during Toyotathon, you can lease the all new 2014 Corolla S for just $189 a month. But hurry, this amazing offer won't last long. Toyota, let's go places. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup is the officially sanctioned annual award recognizing all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. NACTA and USA Today co-founded this esteemed honor in 1993, still widely recognized as the crowning achievement in college athletics.